Welcome to Hashtag Quiz Tutorials. We're going to take you through now about printing pen and paper quizzes and how to host a pen and paper quiz. So the first thing, you'll have either written your quiz or you'll have got the data from the hive and saved it to your quiz database. Now, what you'll see on your quiz database is our actions column. This is where you can do everything within the actions. You can edit, you can print quiz, you can play the quiz, or you can actually delete the quiz too. What you'll want to do is that you'll need to click print quiz. So that will give you a PDF, which you can send to any printer and print out the answer sheets for your players. You'll see the spaces for team names, the spaces for points, because at the end of the game, people are going to want to add those points together and you'll see on the final sheet of paper is all of the picture questions with all of the question numbers and the round that's in it. So when you ask the questions about the pictures, people can see the pictures and you can go from there back to your quiz management screen and then hit play. You'll be given the options again within the launch game of the quiz now, if you've got it wrong, you can just delete it and you can type in the name of your quiz. It's a search function as well. It'll find your quiz and then load the paper quiz option or click the button for the paper quiz option. Because the pen and paper quiz doesn't require any adding up of leaderboard, scoreboard, live stream delays or anything like that. Because we know where you are and you're in a facility with people around you and the only option you've got is to launch the game. Now, the timer, because at the end of the question you may want to give a little bit of announcement that you're going to be moving on to the next question. So you can have a timer if you want or if you don't need one, don't bother with one. It's entirely up to you. Now I'm going to choose 10 seconds and let's start the game. Now, if you did forget to print your quiz paper whilst you're in the quiz database, well, there's a handy little print quiz up at the top. Now, be careful. You don't want to hit the end game button. So the print quiz is up there if you need to print any more for some players. Also, you can click on correct answer so you can see all of the information that's on the page. Read out the question. Maybe you want to read it out a couple of times and then you could start the timer. As you progress through your paper quiz, you'll come to the end of the game. And people may have missed out on some of the questions and may ask you what the question was and all that kind of information. But that's fine because you're at the end of the game and then you've now got a review page. So you may have all of the questions that you've read out during the quiz, but you've also got all of the answers as well. You might need to keep it a little bit secretive from all of your players because now you can see all the information and all of the data once you've finished off giving those extra questions for the people that might need it. Now, it's probably time for you to swap around all of those answer sheets. So in your pub or your bar or restaurant or school or wherever you are, it's time for swapping those sheets so other people can mark each other's answers. You may want to read out your answers to let everybody know if they got it right or if they got it wrong. Count up the points, find the winner, and it's as simple as that. Hashtag quiz is the all-in-one quiz and bingo tool. We've got every kind of quiz, every kind of bingo, all fully wrapped up into it. We hope you have a great time using our system and hopefully you'll find it very useful indeed. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next tutorial.